Monday, April 5th, 2021. Grading for the uh, beginnings of the foundation's lab have begun. Day two foundation. So the white is the shape of the house. Um, I don't know if you can see the reds from up here. Those are going to be some supports for the roof. And then the green is the septic line that's going to run under the foundation. And that's what they're doing. Uh, no, they're digging the outside of the house right now. And then they'll, I guess, dig the septic areas.
April 15, 2021, and I don't think I have much video of the rough plumbing going in um, from my GoPro, so I'm just going to go over with my phone. And this is going to be, this one's for the kitchen, um, so it's got the plumbing and the septic kind of going on here, and they've got everything all buried. And that is for the laundry room and the bathroom and the shower for the master bed. And then down that way is going to be the kids' bathroom. And this awesome guy in the the cat is uh, Travis. And he is finishing digging the area for the septic to be connected up to the house. So that's what we got going on. And then rebar might be going in today. Um, we still got, there's a pile of sand in over there for Phil. So, that's what we go, got going on right now. April 16, 2021, and the foundation continues. I'm going to just set this up. Four twenty, twenty twenty one. It's been wrapped. It's got the sand on the top. It's got rebar. Inspectors coming tomorrow to make sure everything's good. And then we should be pouring Friday around six thirty in the morning. Look at all that, all nice and pretty. And then we got the, these are going to be for the supports for the roof. Yeah. So it's Friday morning early. 5, 5.30 is when it started. It's about 6 now. But the first concrete truck has just pulled up. There we go. It's all pulling out. Yay. Should be like four loads of these things for the foundation. And then I believe next week they're going to come and pour the uh, patios. And then over there we've got, that's where the propane tank's going to be. And then they're also going to pour 
um, our 10 by 10 water tank pad. This is where it starts. Well, and the end of the foundation part, and we can move on. So I'm not gonna get the whole thing recorded because my GoPro has died, and I forgot to unload the memory card, and unfortunately I only have one memory card. So there we go, there's a, there we go. If you need some concrete pumping, Bowman. And out back. This is so hot. This is hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can dig it. We'll get little snippets here and there. Time for your exam. <laughs> back up a little bit. Messy job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you were really good at that. Uh, I really don't like <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that why we hired him? Uh, <laughs> 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 He's like, oh, do I need to push something? <laughs> oh shit, push the button. It must be an ass. Get here all day, folks. It's round nine. And look at that. Almost, almost all the way done. They still got that section over there, which is going to be the kids' bedrooms and a bathroom in the middle. That is fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and then they still got these, which are going to be the supports for the roof. Ooh, look at there! Smoothing oh it, buffing it. Oh, man. Almost there. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So it's a little after two o'clock. It's all leveled and buffed out and all that stuff. And then next week they need to come in and uh, they are gonna be doing the forms and stuff for the patios, which we're gonna have, um, I believe it goes here, this whole patio, it's gonna match up to make it like a rectangle. And then also on the other side, the back side, we will have a small strip for a patio, which will extend later on. Um, but then they will be filling those in uh, Thursday or Friday of next week. Woohoo! it's getting done. Final day of the pour, finally. All the trucks are here. That pad will be poured for the water suppression system and our porch front and back in route. 